Welcome back to Practical AI. Today we're talking about Python virtual environments. If you've ever tried running a Python project and suddenly half your packages stopped working, you know the pain of version conflicts. In this video, I'll show you why virtual environments exist, how to set them up on Mac, Linux, and Windows, and how to share them so your projects run anywhere. When you install Python, three important things happen. You install the Python interpreter, the program that reads your Python code line by line and executes it. You install the standard library, built-in code such as input, file handling functions, and math functions. Environment variables are added. This lets you run Python 3 or PY in the terminal from any folder. You also get pip. Pip installs packages. Pip pulls extra libraries from PyPI, the Python package index at pypi.org. By default, pip installs packages globally, meaning every project on your system shares them. Here's where things break. A project might use tens or even hundreds of packages. Each has its own version. If you update one package, it might break another that depends on an older version. Now your project won't run. And if you share your project, the other person might not even have the right package installed. So how do we solve this? Answer, virtual environments. A virtual environment is like a sandbox for Python. Instead of installing packages globally, you create an isolated environment inside your project folder. Each project gets its own copy of Python and its own set of packages. No more version conflicts between projects. Easy to share exact dependencies with other people. Let's actually create a virtual environment step by step. Right now, you are using your global Python. You can run which Python 3 to see where it is. I'll use this project as an example. You can do this anywhere, but I'll put it here. Let's imagine someone sent you this project. You downloaded it, and now you're trying to run it. It fails with an error. No module named Olama. Pretty typical. So you need to install that module. But you only want to try this project and then delete it. You don't want to install more global packages. You want to be able to tidy up after testing. That's why you create a virtual environment. Now you run python 3 mvenvmyvenv This creates a hidden folder called .myvenv that contains its own copy of Python and pip. If you don't want it to be hidden, just skip the dot. So here you are saying, hey Python, run the vnv module directly with the argument .myvenv. To activate this virtual environment, type source.myvenv slash bin slash activate. Notice how my terminal prompt changes. It now shows dot my vnv at the beginning. That's how you know you're inside the virtual environment. You can also check that Python is now running from this virtual environment, which Python 3. From this point on, if you install a package with pip, it only goes into this project. It doesn't affect any other projects on my computer. If you want to exit the environment, just type deactivate or simply close the terminal window. Now you can install the missing module, Olama. Once your project is working, you can freeze its dependencies. Create a list of packages in a text file and keep it in the project so others know which modules are required. pip freeze requirements.txt If someone else wants to run your project, they just do pip install dash r requirements.txt. If your VNV breaks, delete it, create a new one, and reinstall everything from requirements.txt. This ensures your project runs with the same versions everywhere. So that's it. Virtual environments let you isolate projects, avoid conflicts, and share your work reliably. If this helped, like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching.